Here at uh, 8225, which is wholesale liquidity as well. And uh, with the wholesale liquidity into the bottom edge here, you can see sweeping that liquidity there, big value buy side, and a good run into that 25 liquidity for a buy side pop. If anybody took it, congratulations. I like your style. Nice trade. When you look at it from the uh, swap dealers, there's not a lot in it, but there's certainly still buy side. I mean, I don't think anybody's going to argue with me on the buy side here. The swap dealers are bullish. Quite clearly, the swap dealers are bullish there. So we like the buy trade here into that liquidity sweep. And uh, we've had a good upside. Perfectly reasonable to pick up another $200 profit on that bit of business, isn't it? Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Well done. Well done, guys. Well done. I am short bonds. No shit, Sherlock. Short bonds. Yep. We sold a wad of bonds. We dumped our bonds all over again into the top edges. 25, 26, 27, and 28. Short sale. UB. Macro. Top line. We're making top and safety on it, but we're still in profit. No going to lose any money on this deal. That's for sure. So uh, let's see if we can hold on to that short and uh, see if it rips. Look at that! Uh, look at that algorithm. How good is that algorithm, guys? You could pay billions of dollars in the uh, in the world of retail trading, and uh, you know, buying an algorithm as good as that yellow line. Look at that. But remember, the book has a the book has a double crossing background. You've always got to remember that about book liquidity. It can double cross you. It's like those old-fashioned movies that you think this guy is your best mate and all of a sudden he turns out he's the villain. The book is a little bit like that as well. So don't use the book exclusively to trade from. If you're going to use anything to exclusively trade from, trade off the delta, not the book.